Hello everyone, and I'm glad to present our work ensemble learning model for face swap detection. You know that nowadays deep fake videos become one of the top research topics because of their high spreading rate on social media and with the different types of face manipulations going from entire face synthesis into changing some attributes, some features within the face and also with the expression and identity swap that is currently threatening uh, the life of, politi of politicians, of uh, individuals because the generation of face swap uh, uh, videos is uh, becoming extremely easier than ever with especially using the encoder techniques. And actually what happens is that we take two faces, the original face A and the original face B, which is gonna be actually the target. And then we use the same encoder with the same latent space that is trained to generate the latent representation of, the, of both faces. And then the decoders, we have each one uh, will be trying to reconstruct the, each face respectively. And what is particular about this autoencoder is that the decoder, the decoders A and B belong to the same latent space. And what happens after that, and in order to create the, um, the, the face swapped, we take the original face A with the common encoder. However, we use the decoder B in order to reconstruct face B from face A. And by that, we get a face that is swapped. Now, the problem is that this threatens a lot the stability of countries, the, it, it, it uh, causes the falsifying of privacy, also interfering with political campaigns, and hence the detection of deep fake videos becomes a primary task. To ensure efficient detection of deep fake videos, many solutions have been actually presented and proposed in the recent years. Uh, on one hand, we have some solutions that are using common machine vision tools and other methods are based on deep learning technologies. And to mention the first up, if we can actually uh, combine them into two main approaches. The first approach is based on mesoscopic features where uh, they, are, they use uh, features at the uh, low level details. And in particular, the one of the most recent and the best, me best methods used in the literature is the Mesonet model uh, proposed by Afshar et al., where authors actually uh, propose a, a particular uh, convolutional neural network model that consists of low number of layers of convolutional layers, but however, they focus on mesoscopic properties of images. The problem is that uh, it's unable to detect uh, the videos, the deep fake videos with the closed eyes and the, and the training actually requires also the presence of real and fake videos of the same person in the training stage. Now, another approach is the identity aware approach that it simply consists in determining whether the person in the video is really who is pretending to be. And one of the best methods that is uh, that belongs to this approach number two, identity aware, is the ID reveal technique. It's uh, introduced by Cosolino et al. That consists actually in particular where temporal facial features are detected and are, they are learned in order to learn how a specific person moves while talking. So it actually generates a, a distance metric and it's compared with a particular threshold to determine whether the person in the video is who is really pretending to be. Now, um, of course, that one big advantage of this technique is that we need only real videos of the target person to, that, to use them in the training phase and we do not need any fake videos to train our data set. Now, because of the, that wide variety of deepfake generation techniques and the huge generated data set, if we take one single approach or one single technique model, uh, it's not going to be learning the wide variety of features. And also on the second hand, that any single detection model might have a high accuracy on one type of video manipulation and low accuracy on another type of uh, deepfake videos. And hence, what we do is that we propose a, an ensemble learning model for deep fake detection by combining the best models from two be different best approaches. So it's like taking the best of both worlds. So we'll take the best technique from the first approach, ID aware, and the best technique from the second approach, and we'll combine their outputs 
using a stacking classifier to detect whether a video is real or fake. And for the experimentation, actually, we use the Face Forensics Plus Plus dataset. Originally, it, there are 1,000 videos, but uh, of course, we are limited in terms of memory, in terms of computing resources. So we have only used 400 videos from the Face Forensics Plus uh, Plus, and we have implemented both approaches, both techniques with the same hyperparameters in their original papers in a containerized environment using singularity on a private cloud cluster. Uh, with the multiple GPU nodes that are available at 384 gigabytes of RAM on each node. Now, we have experimented the uh, first the first performance of each approach apart. So the meso inception from the first approach with a 90% of accuracy. And from, on the other side, the ID, reveal, the ID reveal from the ID aware approach with 75% of accuracy. And then we experimented the uh, combination of the best techniques, the ID reveal and the inception with the stacking classifier under the ensemble learning model. And we've got an, a, a little increase and little improvement in the accuracy with 95%. And it's also shown here in green with the, uh, the rock curves that you can see with the multiple trainings and multiple experiments with the true positive rate versus the false positive rate showing the rock curves of the evaluated models always on the first phase forensics plus plus data set also if we can if we really, really need to compare the best of methods from the first approach of afshar et al with using the inception model and Cozzolino et al with the idea reveal method from the identity aware approach and our method we can say that we have a higher accuracy our method actually combines the uh, meso inception features the expression features and the temporal 3DD features. Uh, we uh, the comparison actually was fair because we have used the same data set, and we have overcome the limitations of both uh, methods from the both different approaches. Our code, uh, of course, inspired from Afshar et al. A Cozzolino et al. Uh, is available on our on our uh, page on GitHub. And to conclude this presentation, we have proposed to combine the best of two different approaches under an ensemble learning model to take the best of both worlds. And we could actually increase the, uh, the accuracy of detecting deep fake content, and in particular, the face swap expressions in comparison with the separated existing approaches. As a future work, of course, we are uh, willing to uh, include more and more approaches and techniques into the ensemble learning model. And also as one perspective and future work is to find and look for more and uh, enhanced biometrics, actually, and not only rely on face expressions to detect the fake videos. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us on our personal email. Thank you.